What's up guys, Tony here, and enjoy my last few days of summer while I can. And uh, today I'll be doing a special little trip to the Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, recently I've been watching the show Ozark, um, and that, that area is right in my backyard. So I'm going to go check it out, um, not just because of the show, but I've been thinking a lot about it lately. Uh, down there, there's some old arcades. Um, I'm going to actually show some pictures like from the 80s and uh, do a little comparison. I haven't been down there in a long time. So we'll, we'll see what it looks like now. And I'll show you guys what it looked like back in its glory days. Uh, the arcade, its not, I don't think it's in existence anymore. It's called Rebel Arcade. So we'll, we'll see. I'll show you guys where it was at. At, excuse me. And um, there is an arcade down there, Dog Patch Arcade. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, from what I understand, it's still, still there and a little dingy. But I'll show you guys that and also do a little bit of game hunting on the way. Um, I'll probably hit up Jeff City as well because it's on the way. I'll hit it on my way home. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, thanks for watching. Okay guys, I made just a quick little pit stop to get gas, and you know I gotta show this off every single time, but I got myself a Surge, love the Surge. So my next stop will be, uh, will be down in Lake of the Ozarks. On this drive I've just been thinking about that show on Netflix, and I think it would be funny if like, I took my phone, got a picture of uh, Jason Bateman, I think that's his name, and it's like, you know this man I'm looking for this man you know around that area I think it'd be funny but anyway let's uh, let's see what's left of that arcade that's the main objective of this video and yeah let's get there Mile. Keep left to stay on US-54 West. Alright guys, so I'm here before I start filming and show you what the arcade looks like now. I'm going to show you guys some photos of what it looked like in the 70s and 80s and actually early thousands so check those out I'm gonna narrate a little bit here and there but the pictures pretty much speak for themselves and um, anyway we're gonna go check it out see what it looks like today I'm a little surprised by what I see I haven't been here in probably about 10 years so let's go see so you're going to see a few photos of the Rebel Arcade back in the day in its heyday. So here's one of the earliest photos I could find online. This was in the 70s, so, so I'm told. And here's a redesigned sign. This came up in the 80s, I believe. And here's another shot you'll see in one of my videos coming up. Ski ball, 10 cents. And of course, there were arcade games in there. I have a few photos of what it looked like inside. And there were rows and rows and rows of pinball machines. I remember that as a kid. 
And here's another shot of what it looked like inside. And Discs of Tron. Uh, this was the first time I played Discs of Tron and it stayed with me. Here it is lit up. And it's also by 2-Bit Town. Kind of a weird little side attraction. And I actually saw that Lost Dutchman Maze sign hanging out beside the batting cage. Now here's the Dog Patch Arcade as well. This is from the 80s. And I also remember this Batman little ride they had hanging out here. So here we are. There's the arcade over there. I'll walk over there and show it to you. But I'm going to go check out this area first. Because uh, this is also an arcade I'd, I'd go to as a kid. But this is called the Dog Patch Arcade. And it's still open. So we're going to go check that out. And I can't wait to go over there. But this is a very touristy place. Let's check it out. All right, so here's the other arcade, Dog Patch Arcade. And I used to come here as a kid too. See these uh, little ride things? These were here when I was here. There used to be a little Batmobile ride around this area that I remember riding as a kid. So let's go check it out. A lot of nostalgia. Apparently this was featured in the show Ozark. So, I'll give you an overview of the arcade. The older stuff's in the back. There's an, there's an old school Galaga, original, and they converted it to a 60 in one, I believe. This stuff has to be original. I guarantee you I probably road in these as a kid and that's the Batmobile from the 90s that's cool that's a Suzuka 8 hour looks familiar right Prices too. Daytona USA. Yeah, I played one of these when I was a kid. Ski ball, newer ski ball. Newer stuff, newer Frogger, cool. This has got to be from the 70s. That has to be from the 70s. It's cool. They had newer stuff too. Fast and the Furious. That, I guarantee you I played that when I was a kid. It's got to be early 80s. Palm Reader. And there's an original Pac-Man. I don't think they converted this one, so that's good. Original artwork. It seems fair. Sega GT. Some redemption stuff. That's got to be from the 70s. 
Look at that wood. That's 70s. Has to be. I remember probably playing this thing as a kid. And the screen looks like it's about to go out. Right. And uh, this thing too, you'll see me playing it. This was featured in the Ozarks. Pretty dang cool. More redemption stuff. There's an original Frogger. We got a lot of cooler, cool stuff down in here. These are the original ski ball machines. They're pretty cool. These, these were probably in Rebel Arcade. They used to be 10 cents, but now they're 25. I played it a few times. You'll see me playing it. This is cool. This has got to be early 80s. I remember playing this. Mario Brothers, Galaga 20 Year Reunion, Miss Pac-Man, Tekken 3. It's loud in here, guys. Time Crisis 3. There's a Miss Pac-Man back there. Let's take a look at the pins. Look, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to see. This has got to be 60s, or early 70s. This is the kind of stuff you would see lined up. South Park. Dracula. That's so cool. That's got to be 70s. Very, very simple layout, but very cool. Terminator 2. Another smoking token. NASCAR. Kiss. Lord of the Rings, ACDC, Wipeout. Yeah. Very old school in here. Very 80s feel. That's what I like about it. Love it. Perfect day to be doing this too. So that's it on uh, this arcade. You'll see me playing a few games too. So yeah, awesome place. Playing. Actually, I probably picked the worst one, but I'm gonna play me some ski ball one handed here. Take a look at the balls, man. Original. All right, let's see how I do. Ah. You have to keep in mind I'm doing this one handed with a camera in my hand. Dang it. Sucking it up here. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play again, but off camera. <laughs> Let's try the easy way. <laughs> That's 
all it does. That's weird. <laughs> So here's a close up on that Suzuka 8 hour. Uh, looks very familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Theirs is obviously in a little bit better shape than mine. The seats are in better condition. The grips are in better condition. And they have this piece, which I would love to track down and find. But theirs is in a little bit better shape. Their bikes are a little bit more stiffer, so pretty cool. Need to see one in an arcade. These things are massive. All right, I'm gonna try to smoke them, choke them. So you put it in here. You try to see if you can get it in the slot. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I got some tickets. Okay guys, so here is what remains of Rebel Arcade. Um, and this used to be like the place to go. 2-bit town. Yeah, I remember coming here when it was actually open. So I'm not, I'm going to respect the signs. I'm not going to go over, but I'm, I want to film what is left over here. So... This is in disrepair, obviously. There used to be like water slides over here and like all these crazy like attractions. Like Bigfoot, I think. I'd have to ask my mom or dad. There was mini golf over there and bumper cars. So uh, maybe bumper boats bumper yeah bumper boats because it, it's a pool so let's head towards the arcade and the batting cages and there's the uh, Native American and it's overcast guys so let's uh, that's actually featured in Ozark it's kind of surreal. It was surreal seeing it uh, in the show and then seeing it again now. Yeah, he's big. They're going to preserve him. He'll be a staple of like the Ozarks for many years to come. And I'm going to respect the private property and just check out the batting cages. Love the batting cages. And then there's the Rebel Arcade. Ah. So we'll see. Okay guys, so here is the Rebel Arcade. That's the original sign, it has to be. And yeah, the used to be in here. Obviously it's closed. I have a lot of memories here, and uh, somebody went just went in. Um, so I'm trying to respect that. I don't want to be trespassing, but this place holds a lot of nostalgia for me, and I I, I love being here. Uh, just a lot of good memories. Ski ball, ten cent ski ball. Arcade games, classic arcade games, you name it. So yeah, it's sad to see it like this. To see the batting cages rotting away. But it is what it is. 
all things come to an end. And yeah, and I'll give you a panoramic view of the strip. So very cool. All right, on to the next site, which probably we will be game hunting um, in Jeff City. I might do a little bit here, we'll see. I'll probably eat here and I'll see. There's usually not a whole lot of games here, so um, I'll, I'll double check though. Okay guys, so I decided to hit one place while I was uh, here in Lake of the Ozarks before I go to Jeff City. This pawn shop. So, I'll see. Jar Jar. This is the upstairs area. A lot of records. It's supposed to be uniforms up here. We'll we'll see. These are cool. My dad has these. Kiss. So here's one more look before I head to Jeff City of the Strip. If you follow this road, it'll go to uh, the arcades. But this is more like, you know, your shops and stuff. I'm not really into that kind of thing. Uh, the pawn shop didn't have a single game, by the way. Uh, I did film in there a little bit, so I'm going to head to Jeff City. I always love coming here. There's a lot of nostalgia, even just being like on the strip and seeing old signage like that. So we're going to head to Jeff City now. This just reminds me of that first shot, first couple of scenes in... Uh, well, it's actually the the end of the episode, episode one of uh, Ozarks. So I, I wanted to stop and kind of film here and pay homage to that. I'm actually really enjoying the series. Um, I'm like right dab in the middle of it. So it's kind of appropriate. You see a parachuter, whatever you call those things. But yeah, there's there's the Lake of the Ozarks for you. Okay, guys, I'm at uh, Capitol Mall in Jefferson City, Missouri. I'm gonna hit up Slackers and uh, the Arcade. Now, if uh, you're a fan of like old school malls and stuff, you guys should check out this this channel. Dan Bell. Uh, this is Dan Bell. He does a series called the Dead Mall series and it is excellent. I'll actually leave a, a link in the description below to his channel. So let's go to Slaggers and the arcade. This is my little tribute to uh, that channel. It looks kind of dead in here. I remember there used to be a uh, comic store here. My parents 
would take me to. Pretty sure it was like right here, or it could be in that arcade. So, just a little tribute to Dan Bell here. I won't film the whole mall, but you can tell this is an old school mall. Alright, I'm gonna go check out the arcade. More ski ball for you. T2. Great game. Actually, it kind of sucks. Who am I kidding? It is loud in here. It's like a Dance Dance Revolution knockoff. It's like this, like the third smoking token I've seen today. That's kind of cool. That's got to be from the 80s or 90s. This is a multi-cade, I know, but it's cool. Ooh, they got Seawolf Morgan. Cool. Pretty neat little place. Alright, I'm going to go to Slackers. So here's Slackers. I've been to this one before. Pretty good little store. Um, I'm looking for something in particular. I'll show you guys what I get if they have it. So here we go. All right, so this is what I got out of Slackers. It was 25 bucks. That's the lowest I've seen it in a long time. So I just went ahead and snagged it up. And funny, I got a little strategy guide for a buck. I'm in the single digits now for N64 games, believe it or not. So that's exciting. Hopefully I can get a couple at the Missouri Game Con. Whew, get closer, guys. So this is this is kind of unexpected. I'm stopping here at GameStop. I'm looking for something in particular. I don't want to ruin it. If I don't find it, I still won't share what it is. It's Missouri Game Con related. So, here we go. Hopefully I find it. Well, I didn't find my special surprise. Oh well. But I'm actually at this Goodwill. I haven't been to this one. They actually ended up moving here. So this is my first time at this Goodwill. So we'll see. And there's the capital in the distance. I just thought that would be a good shot. So let's see if I find anything. Don't have much. They didn't have anything in their glass case either. I'll look in their electronics. On this edition of the Cup Chasers.
Okay guys, so this is what I got out of Goodwill. I only got it because it was sealed. And I got these out of uh, uh, GameStop. And it was uh, $4.99 and under for 10 bucks. So I actually did good. I got Namco Museum Remix. Speed Racer. Deca Sports 2. And then Face Breaker KO. So basically I got two games for free. Because these were $4.49. And this one too. So I ended up getting those two games for free. Pretty good deal. Alright. I'm going to go to one more location and that's going to be it. I'm going to go to Salvation Army. This Goodwill didn't have anything and it's probably uh, having to do with the move I think they just opened but it's it's okay I don't know if I like this location it had a better location at the other store but that's okay there's more parking here all right last stop so I'm at uh, Salvation Army one of my favorite thrift stores Let's see what I find. Okay guys, so Salvation Army was good to me again. Got a bunch of books. 90s goodness. One game, and it was actually 75 cents. It was half off. So it's Ball Breakers. Never heard of it. Looks interesting. It is missing the manual. But, oh well, the price was right. And then this was the standout. Okay, guys, one tip you should always do when you're in a thrift store, either Goodwill or Salvation Army, is check the children's books. I have found manuals. I have found books like this, Nintendo stuff, all the time. I'm actually going to go to one more stop. It's a pawn shop, and that's it today. So, all right. Here we go. Alright guys, so I hit up uh, that pawn shop. Pretty good store. They always have good deals. Um, I'm going to be heading home. The one thing, I did score some like sports games for really dirt cheap. Um, I guess the two things that are notable. I got that for a dollar. Woohoo. And always, always on the lookout for these. Mary Kay and Ashley. Crush course. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got it for like 50 cents. I couldn't pass it up. The disc is immaculate. <laughs> but anyway, great day of game chasing. Great day of getting to go to uh, that arcade in uh, Lake of the Ozarks. Got it out of my system. I've been thinking about it all summer. Wanting to film there. And uh, just show you guys what it looks like now. Yeah, Rebel Arcade's kind of depressing. But it's still there. It's still there. And it could be resurrected someday. You never know. I, I like that the Dog Patch Arcade's still there. And they have like a retro section. It's like stepping back into time. And seeing all those pins and old games, it brings back a lot of memories for me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really long vlog. Uh, if you have not subscribed to me, guys, please do so. And this has been a great summer. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.